We'll tell you about Studio that. Studio 10, everybody. Hey, have you ever dreamed of running away with the circus? 12-year-old St. Petersburg resident Amanda Puya did, and her dream actually came true. She is the winner of the Runaway with Cirque Dreams contest and now a featured performer in the shows at Mahaffey Theater. And she joins us now to sing her featured number. Ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Puyat. Surprised you are, you're very far from what you used to know. Focus now, take my hand, forward we must go into Jen Frog. <laughs> that was uh, beautifully done and uh, uh, elegantly surreal. I, I guess is the, yeah, the way to put I think it. That we're was all terrific. A little transfixed over there. But and the the ostrich was actually a guy bent over with his arm up, but I didn't I catch that at first. That was so cool. And uh, Neil is with us actually today as well as the creator, the creator of Cirque Dreams. Creator and director. And there's about 200 more costumes that are as interestingly bizarre and imaginative as what you've seen here this morning. Now, how did you come to I, explain? the contest for us a little bit and why you picked Amanda as your winner. Um, Cirque Dreams Jungle Fantasy first started touring the United States in 2006 and every major city that we've been to both before Broadway and after Broadway we've had the Runaway with Cirque Dreams contest so when we were here in St. Pete a couple of weeks ago um, Amanda auditioned amongst a lot of other people um, listen to the voice it's incredible 12 years old stage presence poise so we created the role specifically for her of this tiny little delicate ladybug wrote a song that we thought was in her register and range um, and she's going to experience what it's like to be working with a Broadway company a theatrical company on stage in front of a couple of thousand people here throughout the week at the Mahaffey Theater great e educational experience for her great thing for her resume and great for the audience to enjoy well this has got to work out great for uh, Amanda and and performers like Amanda and for you as well because I'm sure you're always looking for new talent and new talents always looking for work right new Amanda talent has found you <laughs> yeah <laughs> always looking for new talent but you know what when I was six years old I was bit by the bug and I had three dreams one was to be in theater the other was to be a scenic designer and the third was to be on Broadway and win a Tony Award so I've accomplished almost all of them but for me to be able to give back to another young person that opportunity to experience that to me that's what it's all about so Amanda you're off to a great start here uh, you know you're in this show what's what's next for you did you ever think you'd be in a show like this well, I've always dreamed of it. I never really thought that I could go this far so soon. So you've, uh, you've accomplished a great deal already. What's next? What do you hope to do? 
Um, maybe go for it when I'm older, go on Broadway, try out a few different shows. I think you, uh, I think you may do pretty well with that, Amanda. <laughs> You're already uh, right in there. Um, so I read that you don't only just want to be a singer. You have a lot of goals, <laughs> sort of like Neil. Uh, what else do you want to be? Um, I've always thought law was cool and um, interior design and cosmetology. Very varied, your interests. That's really cool. Well, and I think, uh, you know, especially if you, if you go into law, you know, your, your performing abilities will certainly uh, play well there. So keep, uh, so keep <laughs> at it. What, uh, what would be like your uh, the, uh, dream show that you could be in besides this one? I mean, what shows have you always wanted to do? Um, Miss Saigon. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. That's, I'm so excited that you said that and not High School Musical. I was really <laughs> nervous about that. Um, that's wonderful. So you really are, you've kind of uh, immersed yourself already in Broadway shows. What else have you seen that you really liked? Um, shows? Yeah, or just uh, a lot of them have been made into movies. Do you, are there any other ones that you really, really um, feel Les like? Les Miserables. Like? Yeah? And um, Flower Drum Song. Those are one of my favorites, two of my favorites. Well, and Neil, it's a pattern here. The, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the amount of, ta the, the diversity of talent that you've uh, managed to find. I mean, from, uh, you know, young people uh, Amanda's age on up to, you, you've had some uh, some 80 year olds that you've uh, you found. Um, you? Yeah, in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, the, uh, the winner that we selected there was an 84 year old retired hired military tap dancer who tap danced for the first time in Pearl Harbor. So the man was just ecstatic that he had another opportunity to reinvent himself. But that's what it's about. It's about offering young people their dream and their opportunity. In Surf Dreams Jungle Fantasy, 26 performers from all over the all over the world. They've all had a dream. We put that together in Jungle Fantasy on stage and it's just a happy experience. And you're putting it together on stage uh, today through uh, February 8th? Opens tonight. We're here through Sunday. Eight performances. Great theater. You see the show the best the further away you sit so don't be scared away <laughs> where the seats are available and truly something in it for everyone great family experience and you can uh, get your tickets at mahaffytheater.com you can also learn more about the show at cirquedreamsbroadway.com neil and amanda thank you so much we can't wait to see what you do Thanks next for having us. <laughs> have good shows big shows hey coming up next retirement